Hi, my name is Doug Deemer, and I'm here to give you a uh, tip about how the shoulders work in the golf swing. As you can see, as I'm standing here in my natural standing posture, you can see that my shoulders set uh, in a relationship to my spine, uh, a 90 degree relationship. Uh, in our golf swing, we want the movement, the, the turn of the shoulders to be as free and as natural as possible. And for that to happen, we need our shoulders actually to maintain this relationship to our spine. If I were to do differently, with my left shoulder moving down and my right shoulder moving up, or my left shoulder moving up and my right shoulder moving down, not only does it look awkward, it's by my biomechanically unnatural, and it, and it feels very, very strange. So in our golf swing, as you can see, we need to maintain this relationship. So as I'm in my good golf po posture with some tilt, as you can see, when I turn my model, this 90 degree relationship is maintained. Fortunately, it's a very easy thing to practice and it only has three requirements. First of all is a, a basic understanding of physiology, knowing that our shoulders rest 90 degrees to our spine. Uh, secondly, a club. And third, a pair of eyes or a mirror. Now there's two easy ways to practice it. One, we can set the club in front of our chest, resting on our shoulders. We get into our golf posture and we turn our shoulders on our spine, maintaining pressure on both these points on our shoulders. As you can see here, I've turned my shoulders 90 degrees relative to my spine. We can also set the club behind our back. Again, here, I'm maintaining pressure across my upper back, and as I turn my shoulders, I've again turned them 90 degrees to my spine. Attempt this a few times, and then close your eyes, make some practice swings, and try to maintain that feel.